In this clip, we will be going through the key features that can be used when setting up an event with the Event Wizard. This overview contains the steps required to create an event. We will be going through each of these steps, illustrating the key features available. Type. This menu allows you to jump between completed steps quickly when creating an event. There are a number of event types available. Public events are events which you promote on your website which anyone can register on. Private events are run for a specific group of people and are not advertised on your website. You might refer to these as in-house or in-company events. New event managed by an external provider allows you to list events on your Arlo website that are delivered by external providers. When a person clicks on the event name on your website, they will be redirected to an event page on the provider's website. Templates allow you to store common information about an event. They can be used multiple times instead of having to copy information each time you want to run the same event. Information stored on a template includes the event name, price and website content. I have not run this event before allows you to create a brand new event. If this is the first time you are setting up an event, a template will be created so that you can use it next time. If you have run this event previously, you can use details from an existing template. Presets are optional, and apply favourite settings to your events to save time. Unlike templates, which only allow you to store settings for a specific event, presets allow you to use settings across multiple templates, such as event logistics, start and end times. General. The Event Wizard allows you to schedule basic events, which can be held at a venue or online as a webinar. You can also schedule an event with multiple sessions and options. This allows registrants to choose which sessions they would like to attend during an event. You can make sessions mandatory and sell course related items as optional extras. We'll talk about event scheduling shortly. If you are running multiple regions within your Arlo platform, you can choose which regions the events will be available in, and display region specific pricing to your customers on your website. Website The website page content allows you to choose what information you wish to display on your website for an event. You can add and change website description categories by contacting Arlo Support. You can choose to display your event date on the website and whether or not you want to promote the event on your web pages, such as the upcoming event list page. The lead generation settings allow you to choose to display links on your event that will generate potential registrants for future events. Schedule If you have set up a basic event, you will be directed to the basic schedule settings. Here you can set your event date and time. You can also choose the event venue and presenters. The logistics settings allow you to choose the room setup and catering instructions. These are both optional. The multi-session schedule settings allow you to individually add sessions or add recurring sessions, for example, on a weekly or monthly basis. By default, Arlo will display all presenters associated with a multi-session event, or you can choose to decide which presenters to display with the event. Within each session, you can define a session name, description, start time, finish time, venue, and presenter. Registrations. You can select your events registration method. Auto process will create an order when a registration is processed. Quick registration can be used for free events as this will not create an order. You can also select a registration period. This allows you to choose at which point you will stop accepting registrations for an event. For example, up to any time before the start of an event. You can choose to use a default registration form, which you can customise, or you can customise a form for a specific event. You can choose to set a minimum and or maximum registration number on an event. Arlo can send an alert message when these are or are not reached. This can assist you to easily manage the supply and demand of your events. Surveys. On our professional and enterprise plans, you can integrate Arlo with SurveyMonkey. This feature allows you to create and deliver customised surveys to your registrants, either when attendance is recorded or at the start or end of an event. Communication Arlo has the ability to send out multiple communications related to an event, from registration confirmation to reminders sent out at specified times. It can also send registrant reports to presenters and follow up emails to people associated with an event. You can add special instructions and attachments to registration confirmation emails by selecting Edit. You can choose these communication settings for the event, like the sender and reply to address. Once you've completed these sections, your event will be ready to go. For more information about any of the topics we have covered, please check out our online help at support.arlo.co.